Hey, what's up guys? John from Mongo Fishing. Time for another tournament video. Um, if you guys have been with the channel, then you guys know that every tournament, regardless if I do well or if I suck, I still put the video out. If you're new to the channel, well, that's what I do. Uh, so if you want to see success along with failure, make sure you hit the subscribe button right down there along with the bell notification button so you're notified every single time I put out another video. Um, this is a two-part series. Day one will be today and then day two um, normally I would upload it on Thursday, but I'm just going to make it go live tomorrow. Uh, so, um, I'll show you all the day one and then tomorrow at the end of that video, I'll do the statistics and the baits and all that fun stuff. So, uh, again, hit the subscribe button along with the bell notification button to get notified. Um, well, when tomorrow's video comes out. So anyway, let's get into it. Hey, what's up guys? John from Mongo Fishing today is day one of the Bass Nation State Championship here on Lake Dardanelle. We have like 140 some odd boats, uh, 10 to 15 knot winds with gusts to 30, I think. Is that what it was? Gusts yeah, to 30? 30 increasing throughout the day. Yeah, gusts to 30 and increasing throughout the day. So um, it's, it, it, I mean, it's rough out there. We, we pulled into a uh, into Piney right now. Um, but anyway, that's that. Uh, top 10 after tomorrow, make the state team to move on and fish the national championship. Um, I got my boater Shane. Say what's up, Shane. What's going on? <laughs> Catch him <Bad> mid dip. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so let's stick some lips. You know what, if you're throwing a jig, I'm not gonna throw one. Here we go, fish. Yep. Now he's probably not going to keep unless he's in Kentucky. I think he's going to be short because he's a largemouth. These hooks are so sharp. Uh -huh. I see these hooks are so sharp. They're like getting into him, like just trying to move it out of the, getting it out of his mouth. He's getting stuck someplace else. All right, how short is he? Bro, I got a keeper. I do. I didn't expect that at all. There's one. He's small. He's way too small. Oh, he came off anyway, never mind. I wonder if they're stacked up in a school over there. There's one. Oh, he just pulled off. Son of a... You have got to be kidding me. And that first fish had it really, really good. But these last two fish... I mean, I've missed them or lost them both, so... Maybe that first one was just a fluke. And, you know, he ate it better than the others. You know what I mean? Or... Because these hooks are stupid sharp. There's no way I should have lost two fish unless they're just tail grabbing. I mean, it looks like it. Like, look right there. It looks like there's a nice little current break. That's where that. That's where the second fish was. And I think the first fish was probably pretty close to that. Because I threw back up underneath. You know what I mean? So he was probably right there at that seam also. Here we go. Yeah. Yep. He just pulled. He just pulled. Came off. Didn't What's that? Yeah. And that's three that I freaking lost. All right, guys. So the GoPro has been off because I did a battery change and apparently it never turned back on again. Uh, I don't know what's on here, what's not. Um, caught a couple more shorts. Shane caught a short. And that's about it so far. So uh, anyway, keep fishing. There you go. Is he gonna keep? 
There you go. I think if I can do five pounds a day, I'll be good. When in doubt, just blow your reel out, you know, like. I don't want to cast over there. Let's just see how big of a knot I can make. Good one, need that? So, okay. My initial thought was that I hit a rock over here, but I haven't been able to hit it again. So I'm starting to question if something hit my blade. My first thought was I bumped a, a rock or a log or something like that, but I can't find it. Here we go. Fish. Yep. Feels like it. Yep, that's a keeper. All right. Thanks, sir. Thank you very much. I don't know if he is a keeper. He's fat. Look at that. Hook yeah, falls out. Short. Hook falls out. Yeah, he might be short. We are good. He's like by like a quarter inch. Fish number two, guys. Way out here and and not hooked very well no. i can feel him coming quick that's so close need that need that yeah Good, good, good. Well, regardless of, uh, of today's outcome, I think this needs to be on the menu for tomorrow. Oh yeah, for sure. So let's not get it twisted. I'll be happy with a 12 inch Kentucky. But I feel much better about my chances of making the state, the state team with a four pounder right now. Yeah, no doubt. All right, so knowing what we know now about the way these things are hitting the spinner bait, maybe I did have a bite back there when I said I thought maybe it was a, a stump or something, because it was like, it was on and off so fast, and I never could find it again. Yeah. All right, guys, update. It's 1036. Uh, both of us have two. Keep fishing. What's that? 1136. Is it 1136? Yeah, yeah they're an hour behind. Ah, okay, never mind. It's 1136. It changes everything. <laughs> there we go, fish. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know what? He might be short. There we go. Fish number three. Thank you, sir. He's full of leeches in his mouth. Yeah. Guys, see the leeches? This camera on? Yeah. Look at leeches in his mouth. Oh, hell. All right, there is a limit. Yep. I think if I can cull out one of those other two fish, I will. Yeah, I mean, I think I got probably, I probably have four pounds right now, three fish for four pounds. I think I need five to be in the top 10 for today. I think I'm gonna need, I don't know, maybe eight total for the tournament. Maybe 10 total, I don't know. This is what sucks, man. I hate this game of trying to figure out what you're gonna need. It's 12.32. Uh, 
Um, I've got my limit, trying to call up now. Shane's got two, trying to get him three more. Keep fishing. I mean, I don't understand why we wouldn't be able to get a jig bite. I mean, the only thing I can think of is these fish are just so keyed in on shad, they don't give a f about a crawdad, but most of the time they're still opportunistic feeders. You got Okay. Well, he'll keep though. Looks like he should. He'll be close. Got him. He bit a lot bigger than he than he is. Oh, that's a skinny long spot. Bro, if you want me to let you go, you gotta let go of my jig. I mean it's just it's that simple. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna call anything up. Uh, you don't know, I got a cold beam in there, whatever. Yeah. Let me just I mean he's bigger than my smallest largemouth, but but I don't know if he's going to call, dude. Yeah, I don't know. He's so... Fr I mean, it's not going to do him any favors taking him to a freaking ramp anyway. Yeah. All right, guys. So, uh, day one is over. Um, I finished with a limit uh, for four. 48. No idea what place that is. Uh, I will put that right here after they uh, update the, the standings for day one. So anyway, that's that. See you tomorrow.